morning, good afternoon, or good evening, whatever time it is in your neck of the woods, this is Tony, and welcome to today's video. So today I have the winners of this Scavenger Dazzler giveaway. I'm going to put those up on the screen right now. Congratulations to the winners, and thank you very much for participating. As you can see in the intro and in the thumbnail, we have a Gargantua giveaway, and we got some crazy gameplay to go along with this. These are the newest Titan weapons. They deal damage whilst healing yourself at the same time so pretty cool weapons um, I'm gonna be showing you guys the setup I'm using so I have it on the mirror mets here with gargantua and pantagruel along with four onslaught reactors for maximum damage and firepower um, also we're gonna be giving away some gargantuas on the screen right now I'm gonna show you guys the official rules on how to enter and win some for yourself First, like, I'm going to start comment, this off. I'm going to show you guys turn on the bell icon to select clips. all to enter. This clip, I want to demonstrate to you guys the power of these wind weapons being able to hit of any of my content on YouTube at from the tenth until the If you have one player in front of you, June, you're going to hit one. Screen right if you now have an six, example of what you're going to hit six. Whatever's in front of you, it's going to do damage to be posted on my Discord. And this is where the real power of these weapons comes into play. Most likely, when you're dealing with the single target, it doesn't deal a tremendous amount of damage. Um, it's the power and being able to hit them all up. look at this all i got five guys in front of me i'm vacuuming health away from all of them at the same time this is really really crazy and this is where these weapons shine if you can get your opponents all clumped up into one area they don't even have to be all next to each other like you can see right here they're all spread out and i'm hitting them all at the same time this is where the true strength of these weapons lie this is really, really awesome. We've never seen anything like this in the game before. The good news is they're not super OP. The first day I felt like they were. I think they might have gotten dialed back a little bit. Um, they're more realistic now. They're not super, super bonkers. The first day they were out of control. They seemed like, I don't know if people were running the task with old robots or what, but um, now they're definitely, definitely not as strong. I love the green color effect of it they got the tony green color effect so cool um when you're doing damage to them you're also healing yourself up with a, a small percentage of that as well so these weapons are really really cool the one major balancing factor about them is that 12 second reload um that is a long time to reload oh come on baby can we get this guy he's pushing up in our spawn he wants to get us he wants us to die dropping that shield on him saving up that ammo lighting him up with those shots oh no someone stole the kill man i've been working on that guy so hard all right we got another dude pushing up over here this is a great 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 position last night i was playing and someone on the other team had these weapons on a loot star way in the back of the map i was on canyon I'm like, what am I what am I getting hit from? I'm looking around. There's nobody around. He was hiding all the way in the back behind that little bridge. It was crazy. It was crazy. It was crazy. So if they're far away, if they're at the length of their uh, range, which is 500 meters, ooh, nice. We get another Titan Slayer. If they're at their length of 500 meters, you may not even realize where they are. Um, and they're hitting you, taking that damage from you, and you have no idea where they're from. So these weapons are kind of crazy in that regard. You don't want to play them up close and personal. This is not where you want to play these weapons. Like I said, that 12-second reload on them is brutal. Once you expend all of your ammo, it's going to take a long time to refill, guys. It's going to take a long time. Backing on up, backing on up. This Luke's just trying to get up in our face like a can of mace. We ain't going to let that happen waiting for his shield to drop and then we're gonna light him up with these weapons come on baby light him up oh yeah another titan slayer we are going ham sandwich with this thing right now this thing is a ton 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 of fun and it's very very fragile at the same time so don't think this is some ultimate beast where you can dump it in the middle of the map and take everybody out like a luchador or a minos that is not gonna happen guys with these weapons you got to be precise you got to be stealthy, you got to be sneaky, and you got to know when and where to drop that Titan or else you're going to get taken out so fast, you don't even know what hits you. We're moving on up taking Center Beacon right now. Look at that strong Aegis. That Hawk was not able to break through my Aegis shield. I'm going to take my flight right now, hit him with that EMP. I'm doing damage on everybody at that home beacon right now. Oh, yes. This is where the strength of this weapon lies, being able to hit multiple opponents at one time this is so much man that's a lot of firepower that's a lot of firepower 
to an individual target it may not necessarily be super crazy but when you have those big clusters of enemies you are doing a massive amount of damage all the other weapons in the game besides like rockets that have some splash only deal damage to the person you're firing at these deal damage to everybody in front of them we got this dude hiding in the back over here. Let's take a flight. Let's see if we can take him out. Oh, he's in the mirror. Mets, he's in the stealth, but that don't mean a thing. Boom, Titan Slayer. Yes, baby. So the one major threat and major downside to running this setup that I have right now is mirror Mets running the blinding weapons with double quantum sensor. They have 600 meters range on you, so they have 100 extra meters than you. And even though you could hit them in stealth, if they're outside your 500 meters range, there's nothing you could do about it. And when they're in stealth, you don't see the icon, so you don't know how far away they are. So you need to be very conscious of all the bots that are dropping onto the battlefield. Because if a mirror Mets catches you off guard with this, you are done, son. Done, son. All right, now this is the gameplay that you saw from the intro with the living legend and all that. So we're going to start this bad boy off. I'm going to show you guys the full gameplay in its entirety. Starting off with the Kepri moving on up to center. Beacon, we got linked up to our Skyros teammate there. We have a successful capping of center. Taking a look around. We Looks like we got enough guys that they can manage to take that right, hopefully. Um, I'm going to start pushing on over here to the left side. It looks like a party. We got about four reds over here. This is where I want to be. We got a Sonic Capri, so we're going to play a little peekaboo with them. We're going to play a little sneak a peek a peekaboo with them. When you're playing these battles versus Capri with Sonics, the name of the game is continue to move and make them miss their shots. They're the most deadly when they have a full magazine of Sonic rounds ready to fire. But if you can get them to deplete those and miss most of them, now you're in a better position. It's going to be much harder for them to take you down because the reload interval is slow. So it's hard to predict sometimes when it's going to fire. So a lot of times if the player isn't smart and save up a bunch of ammo and they just try to fire as the weapon reloads, more than likely they're going to be missing those shots if they're not on mouse and keyboard. We got a nice cluster of enemies here, but we get taken out at the center. That was quite a little battle there. Definitely, definitely, definitely took me out in a hurry. Now we're going to drop in with this Revenant. Try to make my decision where I like to go. It is a hot mess over there in center right now. I'm going to see if I can cheat over here to the left side and take this beacon back. We had a lot of players on center, so I really didn't want to go there and just be another body um, because the, the guy on this left hand side could have pushed him into our home so I wanted to have some type of presence drawing some people away from center and having that guy on the left focus on me to hopefully give my teammates a better chance at center beacon to destroy all those enemies boom we get the kill now we got a Demeter who just teleported in there as his buddy died that's always the worst man when you when you're playing a Demeter and you teleport into a teammate and he gets and he dies the, the second you get there or right before you get there and now you're left alone to fight somebody or multiple people ooh, 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 ooh. backing on up backing on up we got this big Fenrir in our face he's gonna be hard to take down so I'm gonna try to focus on the other opponents first if I can uh, because he's going to take a while to wear down. Let me see if I can get this Harpy out of here. Boom, we get the double kill. Very nice. Ideally, I'm going to try to destroy all these enemies and take this beacon over here. This is my goal in coming over here. That and dragging a lot of players over here. Look at center and the right beacon. They're vacant of reds. So I did my job. Now we're going to drop in our Titan over here. But do you see how easily you could dictate and manipulate where the players go on the map? Um, they were so focused on center, all it took was me going over to that left hand beacon occupying them and all of a sudden all the rest of the team went and spawned over there and they left all the other beacons alone. This is really helpful, especially when playing solo and dealing with randoms because you know you can't depend on them. So if you can kind of dictate what the opponents are doing and make it easier for the randoms, it's going to be in your favor for sure. Now we're dropping in the man of the hour, the Gargantua. Farfantua, Mirror Mets, oh baby baby, we got our first kill starting this off right now. So I recommend when playing this, ammo conservation is 
going to be one of your key priorities. That and trying to identify when and where to use the Titan. But while using it, ammo management is going to be key to your success. You have to know when to fire and when to reserve your ammo. When purple Aegis shields pop and stuff like that, even the yellow ones, um, you don't bypass that. So you need to keep that in mind. All right, trying to get this dude over here. It looks like he's getting some help now from a Demeter, so I'm not going to waste my time. I'm going to drop back down right now. And I'm going to try to reload and reset. So I'm sitting here waiting for my ammo to replenish and recharge. All right. Trying to see what these guys are up to here. All right, let's see if we get a little damage in this guy. Take him out. Boom, we get the triple kill. Very, very nice. Okay, okay, okay. All right, let's go into a flight right now. Let's see if we can take this dude out. We hit him with the EMP. He's getting a little saving by that purple shield right now. Light him up. Boom, 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 boom. Rampage, baby. That's what I'm talking about. All right, we're going to drop back down. We're going to try to save up our ammo. You see, it, it's hard to fight when you don't have a lot of ammo. So I'm going to try to save this ammo up if and when I can. I'm As you can see, patience is the name of the game when playing with these weapons. I can't stress that enough. Um... I'm used to playing with other weapons. I like to get in there. I like to brawl. I like to bang it out. I like to be aggressive. These weapons, you're forced to play a little bit more passive if you want to be successful with them. Oh, nice. We get another Titan Slayer focusing on this Nodens now, baby. Can we take him down? Light him up with those shots. Boom, 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 boom. Another Titan Slayer. We are going ham sandwich out here with this thing. All right. Oh, my gosh. This guy's all over us. He's trying to take us down. Living legend. What in the world is going on, man? These... Oh, all these kills just fell into place. I don't know what to say right now. <laughs> I had no idea we were going to go on a streak like this, but they are angry, angry, angry with me right now. I'm getting focused down like crazy. Oh, my gosh, and I got taken out. But we had a fun, fun little run with this thing, man. Holy cow. All right, dropping in with the Kepri, trying to defend this center beacon over here, trying to get this guy when he goes into flare. We got an Al Quinn on the battlefield. Shout out to the Al Quinn, the Red Dragon, one of my favorite fun old robots to play. Pick Sonic, if you're listening, give the old Al Quinn a little love. Give the Al Quinn a little love, man. Give him module slots. Give him the three active slots. That would be real nice, or three passive, rather. I would love if the Al Quinn had three passives. He's got a hard enough time as it is. Um, I don't think having module slots is going to make it OP or anything. It would just make it fun to play and, you know, have a little bit more variety on the battlefield. Um, I wish there was, like, a game mode or they did, like, a test mode where you could only have one of each robot. It makes for so much more of a dynamic and fun gameplay experience. Um, you know, I'm guilty of the same thing. Um, when you squat at night... You know, squad versus squad situations and versus meta clans and stuff like that. Of course, you're always going to have, you know, the people that run multiples. Like, that's, that's just what the meta is. And, um, but when you're out there running solo, man, like, to have all those multiples, like, I don't know. It, it just gets boring, for me at least. So, I've been trying to mix it up and try try some different things. Try some non-meta builds. And, uh, you know, it's kind of rough, man. This current meta is super, super tough. I've been seeing a lot of people with stacked Kepri's in their hangar. I really wish that people would stop running so many of them. I would hate for this robot to get a nerf. Um, it's my favorite, favorite, favorite robot in the game right now. It's so good. It's so effective. It's the jack of all trades. It's a healer. It's a supporter. It's a brawler. It's a tank. It, it could do it all. Honestly, it could do it all. And it does it all very, very well. Um, I, I really do love this robot. Especially this special edition Eldritch version. With Tony Green on there, it is an absolute beauty as you can see we're fighting a Fenrir we're fighting a Titan we're fighting a whole bunch of stuff over here at Center Beacon and we are hanging tough man we're doing our thing we're doing what we can and we are surviving that's the one thing we're able to do is survive oh 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 oh, oh my gosh we're getting focused by more Titans now this is not gonna end well guys oh my gosh we got taken out but you know what we held that beacon, we occupied that beacon for quite some time. I think we, even though we did get killed, it was a successful defense in holding it and burning that beacon bar down. This is Beacon Rush, so the name of the game is to burn down the opponent's beacon bar as quickly as possible. You do that by holding and owning beacons, and um, I held that one for some extra time that we normally wouldn't have had, so that burned their beacon bar down faster, faster, faster. We're coming in with the Puncher Behemoth, baby. 
one of my favorite fun builds in the game this thing definitely packs a punch boom we get the kill we're cruising and perusing on over to center as slow as anybody could cruise cruise or peruse and there is the victory ladies and gents let's take a look at the scoreboard i kind of feel like we did a lot of damage with that titan i'm interested to see what the numbers are going to be here and oh nice 10 million damage 13 kills two beacons not too shabby appreciate you guys so much hope everybody has a great day and keep coming back